and welcome everyone to this auction video for this 61 plate Vauxhall Astra. Uh, this one's got about, I think it's like 99,000 miles on the clock. I've had a road test of this vehicle and uh, yeah, it drove absolutely fine. Couldn't find any faults with it. It's got a few little scratches here and there, but nothing really that's jumping out. I would say actually for its age and mileage, quite tidy. Uh, so anyway, I've taken loads of photos inside and out. Let's have a walk around. Not ideal conditions today because it's a bit wet, wet and rainy, um, but I'll do my best to uh, show you what condition it's in. So let's have a look. We've got a few stone chips here and there uh, on that arch. Uh, coming around to the front here, much the same, just a few stone chips. More notably on the uh, bonnet, there's more chips here and there. Uh, this is just water on the bonnet at the moment because we've been having a sh little shower of rain. For a change, there's a few scratches here on the uh, front bumper and a few light scratches, I would say, and stone chips on that front arch. Coming around to the passenger side, not looking so bad. Mirrors looking good, as well as I can tell under these conditions. Coming around to the uh, rear door, Again, always looking good. Coming around to the rear panel here. Again, all looking good. Back bumper is looking nice and solid. No big uh, dents or anything like that. Just your usual wear and tear on the load area. The actual boot door is looking nice and solid. Coming around to this rear uh, bumper here, we've got a few uh, scuffs here just on, the, on that corner. On from that, the back end there, not looking too bad at all brake lights appear to be in good condition as do the fronts as well we'll just have a quick look at those fronts indicators look nice front lights are looking good and your indicators etc all looking good there so coming around now to this rear panel all looking good and um, coming around to the uh, driver side rear door again looking good a few little chips here and there bit of dirt maybe a few little chips I would say coming around driver's door much the same a few little chips and uh, the uh, mirror much the same again a few little scratches there let's have a look on the interior let's go into the boot it's all looking very nice actually in here in the boot we've got a nice load line cover there which uh, is looking in very nice condition and the actual boot area itself is looking nice and clean and we have a um, spare in the back here underneath everything with the tool kit. That's all looking nice. So yeah, all looking good there. And having a look on the interior, we've got manual windows on the back there, slightly tinted windows up, I would say. Door cards are looking good. Back of the seats looking good. Footwells again looking good. And these rear seats are looking nice. Right, let's go around to the other side. No problem with the operation of the doors. And again, tinted window, door card looking good. Back of those seats and footwell looking good. And the rear seats looking good. Right, coming up the front here, loads of history. I'll take you through that in a sec. We go through all the uh, service history on that one. Got electric windows at the front, door cards are looking nice. Interior is looking nice as well. As well are the seats and the uh, Footwells there. It's had a quick wash on our wash bay, but could obviously always benefit from more cleaning. Coming around here to the driver's door, always looking good. Electric window and mirrors, they all appear to be working fine. Interior is looking good. Footwells, obviously a bit dirty there, but nothing horrendous. Driver's seat is looking nice. Let's hop in and we will check for any warning lights. Okay, doors closed and break off. And we've got no warning lights there and a mileage of 99,519 miles. Let's switch it off. Comes with two keys. One has a bit of tape on it. I could probably clean up a bit, although those two buttons there look like they're in need of repair of some sorts. But yeah, on from that, I've tried both keys. Both keys do work. So let's try this other one again, and we'll start it up. up she starts, and handbrake's off already. And um, we've got no warning lights, so that's nice to see. Um, we've got all your usual bits and pieces, air con. That I've not really tested, although it keeps coming on automatically every time I jump in. 
Uh, it does feel a bit cold in here, but it is a winter's day. So anyway, we have lots of buckets here. We have two service booklets because it looks like someone shared the history on both books for some, some reason. Maybe the booklet was lost at some point. Um, MOT and a service there. But anyway, let's have a look through these service history books. So this one starts in 2012. What's, that, what's this other one start? Let's just check. So I get them in the right order. Okay, 14. So we have a stamp there. I've taken photos of all this lot, guys. So if you want to study it more so, jump over to the auction listing uh, photos and you can study it uh, more in depth. So a stamp there, 2012, 2013, and 2018. Um, what else have we got? I think there was one other in here. Oh yeah, there's a stamp there for anti-preparation. That's that one. Let's jump over to the other service book. So we've got one there, 2014, 16, 19, 22. 22, it had the glow plugs done. We've got a uh, invoice there for that as well. Um, there's another one there, additional oil change and filter, 2014. Um, and I think that's all there is in that. So yeah, a bit of a, a mix mash of history there, but it all seems to be uh, present and correct. I would say not exactly a full service history, but over, you know quite a lot of stamps I think for this vehicle, and another stamp there for uh, March 20, sorry February 2022. And um, we have an MOT there, which is expiring in March 24, and uh, yeah, we have some advisories there as well. Um, but yeah, let's get out in this rain and we'll have a look under the bonnet. Okay, bonnet is up. A little bit dirty and dusty under here, but nothing uh, really needs to be No nasty knocks or rattles, no oily smells. Uh, I'll be quiet and let you have a little look in this end. Rather a nice uh, Vauxhall Astra 61 plate, 99,000 miles, lots of history, a bit of MOT, a few little scratches here and there, but overall I would say quite tidy. Anyway, I'm getting out of the rain. Thanks for watching and happy bidding.